Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled Edwards Flight Test Tales, Clearing the Maverick, AGM-65 Missile. That's air-to-ground missile. Now, the Maverick is a really cool missile. Its, it's capabilities are fantastic. But to get it on an aircraft, you have to clear it. And that means the aircraft has to be able to safely carry the munition through the flight, flight envelope. The aircraft's interface uh, and systems have to be able to talk to the missile and cause it to fire. And it has to be able to separate safely from the aircraft and function the way it was designed to function. So all these things need to be cleared. And one th the way we started this out was uh, we had a station, and this was one of the major concerns, was we had a, a station or where the missile is held that was right next to the engine intake. And as you can see, the flames there, that's close to the intake. And if you get uh, exhaust gas from the missile impingement into the intake, it can cause problems with the engine, compressor stall, damage, things like that. So we had to clear that uh, to make sure the, the weapon, first of all, could successfully separate from the aircraft uh, without damaging it. And to do that, we initially started out with a 5 8 uh, rocket motor. Not not the full charge on the rocket motor, it was 5 8 And this was, uh, the Maverick's a pretty good size missile. You see, it's it's not like one of the AIM-9s, uh, the Sparrows, or the Sidewinders, you know, those various type missiles. This, this is a good size missile. And this is the first time I'd ever uh, chased it on that 5 8 motor launch. So, I'm thinking, okay, it's going to ignite, it's going to come off the rails, and it's going to accelerate. Nah. Even with the smaller motor, it was gone like a shot. Now, here's the missile en route just before impact, and, uh, well, everything's going pretty good. I, you see I'm at a safe distance away from it. Everything's pretty good. Uh, you know, it looks great. It's coming right in the target, and everything's fine, I guess, um, unless your guy in the tank, and then... All right, so at this point, yeah, guy in the tank, things aren't going so well. Not a good day. But this is a great missile. You had uh, various seeker heads. You had the infrared, you had the uh, uh, visual, and you had the laser, and you could put the uh, crosshairs on the target, and you could fire it, and then you could just leave. And it was an extremely accurate missile, uh, just great capabilities, and uh, it, it proved itself very well in... Uh, in the inventory. Okay, so to clear this, I'm getting in my trusty T-38. I'm the chase pilot. We take off together. I'm behind him. I got a camera, a photographer in the back seat, and that's really cool because they can get some really neat pictures. And here's one of the pictures uh, that we did. Um, it's uh, on the uh, inboard station there. You can see there's one more Maverick there. We'd already fired one. The, uh, the first Maverick we fired on this particular test mission, it went out, and I'm trying not to hit the, uh, the lead aircraft, because both of us are watching this missile, because watching it from the uh, uh, rear end is really cool, because that thing really maneuvers. It's amazing to watch that thing fly. And we're watching it, um, and uh, it goes fine, and then it just takes a nosedive straight down into the ground. Second one, we fire it. Oh, it goes great. Beautiful. Third one, we couldn't get it to come up. Well, this is what flight test is all about. Things work sometimes and things don't work sometimes. And you get the bugs figured out and you make sure that the munition, uh, like I said, can be successfully and safely carried and fired. And that, of course, the whole end thing is that it works like you want it to work. And uh, as anybody who's familiar with the AGM-65 knows that this is a uh, very successful and uh, cool missile. At, le at least if you're not on, on the other end. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.